Hello Dostone, welcome to today's video. Guys, today we are reacting to Indian 2.7 billion dollar smart city. Without wasting much time, let's just go straight into it. And if you're new to this channel, know what to do, right? Just smash that red subscribe button. Let's go straight into it. Kia is constructing a brand new 2.7 billion dollar smart city called Dolora. In 2006, the Indian government launched the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, oh. a $90 billion development project between the two megacities. As part of the project, in mid-2009, the Gujarat state government announced plans for a massive smart city 100 kilometers south of Ahmedabad called Dolara Special Investment Wow, Engine. look at the plan! In 2010, the engineering consultancy firm Halcro developed plans for Dolara, this is and in insane. 2012, they were rendered operational. Wow. In 2013, the infrastructure giant Acom was awarded a $30 million contract to manage the project. This is insane. Then, on May 26, 2014, the former chief minister of Gujarat, Narendra Modi, was appointed as the prime minister of India. Already a firm supporter of the project, Modi quickly approved Dolara. This is insane. The Dolara Smart City will cover 920 square kilometers along the western coast of the Gulf of Wait, Kaibat. wait, guys. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section if this city is, is done. Let me know in the comment section because it seems this video is an old video. Oh, this video is a year old. It's one year old. So, guys, let me know in the comment section if this city is done. The Dolara Smart City. Let me know in the comment section if it's fully done. Let's continue. Strategically located between the industrial cities of Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Rajkot, and Bhavnagar, mm. Dolara will absorb 22 already existent villages, including the one from which it's named. The city center will have high-tech industrial it's zones insane. for electronics, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, heavy engineering, automobiles, and many other sectors. Passing through them will be multiple high-access corridors. Around the city center will be residential Whoa. zones, with certain portions allocated for different income groups. In the inland regions, there will be agricultural zones providing the city with wow. fresh produce. Closer to the coast, there will be an entertainment wow. region, with sports stadiums, futuristic malls, outdoor wow, theaters, a film city, and other establishments. On the edge of the city, there will be a line of tourism resorts. However, these resorts will sit on the edge of a floodplain, which is only submerged with seawater for several months of the year. For the rest, it's cracked earth salt flats. Throughout the city, there will also be a knowledge and IT zone, including a university, a solar park and wind turbines, wow. providing green energy, wow. a central logistics hub, and numerous this parks. This is insane. Dolara will also host the Gujarat Trade Center, built with a unique architectural style. Furthermore, the city will have advanced mass rapid transit systems, modern hospitals, and high quality wow. public schools. Finally, the already existent Black Buck National Park will be upgraded, hopefully becoming a major tourist wow. attraction. Outside the city borders, there will be several other mega projects. 20 kilometers northeast of the city will be Dolara International Ooh. Airport, which will cost $1.6 billion. A six-lane highway will connect Dolara and Amdavad, stretching 110 kilometers. In addition, a series of other roads and rail lines will connect Dolara to Bhavnagar and other ports. Lastly, a massive 30-kilometer-long dam called the Kalfazar Project is likely to be constructed across the shallow Gulf oh. of Kambat, harnessing tidal energy while creating a massive freshwater reservoir that will serve Dolara and the local towns. The dam would also guarantee year-round waterfront access for the tourism this resorts. On top of the dam would be wind turbines and a four-lane highway, which would drastically reduce travel times for many local commutes. Dolara Smart City will be developed in three main phases, costing a total of 2.7 billion US wow. dollars. By its planned completion in 2042, it will host 2 million people and provide 827,000 new jobs. Whoa. 
Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Don't skip this ad. Um, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Do you know this? Thousand new jobs. However, Dolora comes with many issues. First of all, thousands of local villagers oppose the project. Why? The land that Dolora will encompass is currently home to approximately 37,000 people in 22 villages, who mostly live agrarian lifestyles and oppose the new city. They have formed an initiative called Land Rights <laughs> Movement Gujarat Seriously? and have publicly protested against the city. In addition, since its elevation would be very low, Dolora would be at high risk for flooding. Fortunately though, the city's design includes infrastructure meant to deal with floods. Uh, I, I don't for know why the people are protesting for the government not to approve to this plan, because this is brilliant. And I don't think the government will break down their, their, their homes without compensating them or without giving them a place to live or something. I don't know why, because this is, you know, a good, you know, um, plan that, you know, it's a smart city, of course, because this is insane. Wow. I don't know why they are rejecting it. <laughs> Furthermore, former plans to build a port near Dolora have been scrapped. Without any trade flowing through the city, it's doubtful whether it would succeed in drawing investment what? and business. Seriously. Lastly, many believe the city will not pay for itself and result in major debt, causing an economic crisis. Or it will be significantly downsized and oh, lose no. its magnificence. Despite these issues and concerns, the project has progressed very quickly. In late 2015, Gujarat approved the city planning scheme and the Dolara International Airport received wow. environmental clearance. Then, in March 2016, construction yes. began. Throughout 2017 and 2018, the company Larsen and Tubro, or LT, constructed many kilometers of roads and drainage systems, outlining the 22.5 wow. square kilometer first sector along with a 100 meter wide, five kilometer long stormwater canal. During this time period, the Administration and Business Center for Dolora, or ABCD building, yes. was also constructed. It now serves as the project's I don't know central why I'm administration happy. office. In early 2019, plans for a $933 million metro system began. Throughout 2019, Whoa, just LNT continued construction so on the 72 kilometers of roads and the drainage systems. In early 2020, they began construction on several utility projects. Footage from July 2020 okay, shows still, a sewage treatment plant, a water treatment under plant, construction. a substation, and power supply lines under construction. Even with the coronavirus, construction wow. has continued. The Dolara Amdavad Expressway is planned to begin construction soon and be finished oh. in 2022. The Dolara International Airport is to begin construction in October 2020 and be completed by oh. late 2025. Lastly, the Mumbai based company Tata Power is going to install a this 50 megawatt solar power plant for the city. Over the next few years, the Dolara Smart City will advance. The French aerospace giant Airbus and Indian Kalyani Group have both committed wow. to investing in the city. The first sector is planned to be completed by the end oh, of 2024. Oh. Whether Dolora will ever fulfill the vision of a 920 square kilometer smart city of the future, we yeah, yeah, will we just, just have, have to wait, wait and see. see. Guys. This is insane. I love the layout, the plan. Wow, it's still under construction though. But let me know if anyone lives around that side. Please comment in the comment section how um, the, the construction is going, um, the improvement in the construction. Just let me know. I, I just want to know more about the place. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, like the video said, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, especially if it's your first time watching any of my videos or this one. Just make sure you subscribe. This means a lot to me. It's going to help the, the YouTube algorithm to, you know, suggest my videos for others. So please keep commenting, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. Other than that, it's been me, Lucky Sam, and peace!